Hey guys, this is Apex of War. I've got a uh, little guide here starting off in Velen. In my last video, I showed you how to get through kind of the um, the prologue portion of The Witcher 3, which is White Orchard. So getting into Velen here, I just want to show you how I started off and how I think you guys should start off. It'll give you guys a really good head start getting into uh, the missions and quests in Velen. So getting into a new area here in Velen, there are places of power to hit up. So that's the first thing I did was find all the places of power and uh, attune to them so I can get the ability points from them. So I started off, of course, Hangman's Tree, went to the inn at Crossroads, uh, which took me to uh, Heatherton here, going through the, uh, the main quest line. And the first place of power I went to is just north of that. There is the place of power right there. Now you got to be careful when you get to this place of power. There is a uh, griffin kind of circling around that hidden treasure next to it. But you can get that place of power without aggroing the griffin. So I went ahead and I did that. And then I just kind of went counterclockwise here. Uh, there's a place of power here. Unfortunately, you cannot get to this place of power. Uh, it is underground and you can't get to it because it's only an area that can be accessed um, from the main quest line once you get a little further down the main quest line. So uh, that one will have to hold off to a little later. Going a little further south, here's another place of power. You've got to be careful. There's like a, a golem or troll or something uh, just north of there. So um, you can get that place of power without aggroing him. Moving further counterclockwise, here are the road to Bald Mountain. Now this place of power you typically cannot get to, uh, you're not supposed to be able to get to this early in the game. Uh, this is a place of power that you usually come across when you're just going through the main storyline. It's a bit further down in the main storyline, but you can climb these mountains to get to the place of power. It's just a little bit of mountain climbing. I'll post a little uh, a clip here on how I did it. So once you get that place of power, you just kind of run south until you run off the map and uh, and it will give you a free fast travel because it says hey you cannot travel here so you get a free fast travel out of it so once I picked up that place of power and and got that free fast travel I fast traveled there so that I can make my way to the next place of power here now there is really nothing difficult about this place of power uh, it's pretty easy to get to I think there's some uh, wolves or wargs in the area, but they're pretty easy to dispose of. And the other place of power, or the next one I went to, over here, uh, you've got to be careful because there is a werewolf right here that um, you do not want to aggro. So you can play, uh, pick up this place of power without aggroing that werewolf, you just got to be a little careful. And then once I got that one, um, there's uh, six total kind of around that main area there in Velen. When you get north here closer to Novigrad, there's two up here. You got one place of power here just east of Novigrad. And this one is really easy to get to. There's nothing special about it. And then from there, I went into Novigrad, kind of headed northwest across this bridge here. And you end up in this uh, Church of the Eternal Fire, which is uh, right here. And then off to the side of that is the final place of power. Now, to get to that place of power that's off of the road to Bald Mountain, uh, you've got to do a little navigating here. There's some villages you'll come across that are abandoned that have foglets or um, neckers, one of the two running around. Uh, you can just uh, avoid them and run around those villages. you got to climb up here to this little area here. Uh, you see this big door, it is locked. It will be unlocked later on during the main quest line, uh, but you're still a ways away out from that, so you want to go to the left here and start climbing these rocks. Once you start climbing these rocks, you'll get to this little spot here, uh, and you're just trying to jump and roll to the top. And eventually, with enough determination, you will get it. Once you're on that top area, you'll want to safely find your way down to this little crevice. And then from here, you can climb up. Huh. 
and then this trail will lead you straight to the place of power and then once you get this place of power uh, you just head back south and you can run till the uh, game tells you you can't run any further and you get that free fast travel to fast travel wherever you need to go to for the next place of power you should have something around nine available uh, ability points uh, you want to put three in the strength training that will unlock the second row in the combat tree so that you can put uh, five points in the next fast attack ability now of course you cannot use it yet you have to get to level four to unlock the next ability slot but you can go ahead and get the points set up for it So once you got your ability point squared away, you need to find this Ophir Merchant. Now he's in the far northeast portion of Velen. When I say the far northeast, I mean the very corner northeast of uh, Velen. And he will sell you saddlebags and horse blinders for your horse. Those are going to be the best ones you can get your hands on in the game at the moment. Now the saddlebags adds 100 pounds to your total weight inventory that you can carry, which is awesome. Uh, you're limited to 60 pounds without any saddlebags, and then some of the other saddlebags in the game add like 25 pounds, 30 pounds, 50 pounds. Well, the one he sells adds 100 pounds, which is definitely the one you want. Now for the saddle for your horse's stamina, uh, you have to race him in a little side quest. If you beat him in a race, he will give you a free Ophir saddle um, that you need to go ahead and equip and that's about the best saddle you can get in the game until you get to Tucson which is way further on down the road. And this is just showing you the saddle that you get after you beat him in a horse race. A fearing mares may be swift as the wind, not quite as fast as my roach though. I congratulate you. A saddle for your mount, your reward. A contest to commemorate. It will make you a rider even swifter. Now, after getting a little bit of the main quest line done, didn't do too much of it, uh, just a few steps in it, and uh, knocked out some side quests. I hit level 4 here, and I actually returned back to White Orchard. This is the main town here in White Orchard. And uh, just outside town is a merchant who sells uh, the best armor you can get for light armor at level 4. So I ran over to him. Uh, I already had a couple pieces I had bought from him earlier of that set. But while I'm at it, let me go ahead and assign the uh, Precise Blows ability. And put that in that unlock slot. Let me have a look at your stock. Here is the uh, Tamarian armor I was just telling you about. I would highly suggest picking up a full set of this. And if you've got the extra crowns and uh, you're into the Gwent part, uh, excuse me, the Gwent portion of the game, uh, go ahead and buy these Gwent cards here. These are pretty good. Speaking on the topic of Gwent, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's uh, it's a card game within the game itself. That's a lot of fun. Uh, it's definitely not required, but. I had a lot of fun with it, so di remember different innkeepers and different merchants will have Gwent cards and you can play them as well. If you beat them, they will give you a free Gwent card. Uh, this little clip here is just showing you where I left off armor-wise. I've got my Viper sword still. I'm using the Temerian armor set and the Ophiri uh, saddlebag, saddle, and horse blinders. 
So this is where I left off in this playthrough. Uh, you should have some potions that you've been able to put together. Uh, some bombs you've been able to put together. I added the Northern Wind Bomb to my arsenal, uh, which was really nice. I picked that up from the Peller. The Peller you'll come across during the main quest line. And just showing you some of the stats here. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'll definitely have some more coming through as I'm going through this brand new playthrough of the game. So uh, stay tuned for that, and uh, hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.